Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And we are back with our little carrier, and um, I need to do fleet stuff, don't I? So we're going to delete this fleet. We're going to create a new fleet. We're going to call it my new fleet 3. We're going to add a member, which is, um, I think this one. That's us. Anyway, actually, we are going to go to a new system, admin scan, and hop right in here. And add member. Oh, right, so we're already the mothership. Um, wrong button. Stop moving. There we go. All right, so let's uh, dock a vessel in here. So let's uh, grab a square fighter 2, admin loaded, and spawn it as docked. There we go. Now, can I add a member? Oh, other ships dock. Ah, ah, there we go. I can look at dock ships. So I can add him to my, my, um, fleet. All right, so order. Idle, move fleet, attack sector. Where is carrier recall? The fleet. Ships will return to the pickup area of the flagship they last used to dock. So that, theoretically, that means, um, let's launch it and let's reset that. So theoretically, this means this ship should not redock to the mothership. Because it never used a, a, um, pickup rail. So let's go K, order. Uh, where was it? Carrier recall. And it's just sitting there mocking me. So let's order information. So, yep, it works information. Oh, no, it doesn't. It just slams into the side. Okay. Uh, order idle, please. So let's hop out and let's hop into the old spaceship. And, oh... I thought I set this up so, there we go, so the rail docker was there. Or does it not save the uh, up bar and the blueprints? I thought it did. It used to, anyway. That I just didn't save it right. Oh, it didn't save right. Okay. Oh, no, because I'm using the square fighter too, not the 608 fighter. Okay, that, that makes sense. But it doesn't matter because the, um, the uh, docking's all the same, so it doesn't really matter in this case. So, the first slot in the bottom, so we're going to tell it to go ahead and eject the bottom. So it's just going to slide on right by. And then fleeing itself into the void. Let's reset that so I don't forget it later. And there she goes. Now let's hit K. K order. Carrier recall. Now it's going to try to recall, except it's going to try to recall by moving through the vessel instead of around it. And now it's going to, yep, there we go. Eventually it will find a way. That's why I added these lengths here. So they want to be like rubbing up against the ship right here. Trying to beat it to death to get in. Now this poses some problems. First of all, this assumes I'm actually going to care enough to pick these fighters up. Which, probably not, to be honest. They're probably getting dropped off to die and new ones will be put in place here. So I'm not overly worried about that. But that also means every time I want to spawn one of these, if I want the carrier to actually, for everybody to come back and all that jazz, I would need to manually dock every ship I add to the stinking fleet. And that is a lot. That's what, 20 ships? That's four wings of fighters? So, probably not going to go through all that trouble. 
but I, I want it to be able to be done. So it is able to be done. So some words about that. Definitely going to need um, mass. This thing's going to need to have quite a bit of mass. Why? Because it's going to have, if, if you have the carrier recall, it's going to have 20, 1,000 mass uh, spaceships ramming it all at once, trying to fit in the proper slot again. Really, probably just set up one pickup point and then have all this weird contraption that comes in here and distributes them evenly. But, not going to be doing that. That sounds like work. This is going to be basically a troop carrier, except the troops are big squares. Hmm. All right, so I have the the theoretics down, just that it's the uh, the actual executions are going to be a pain in the backside. It's going to be easier just to spawn one in fully loaded or build one fully loaded. Uh, drop it into the combat zone, have it fire all its, all its fighters, call it a day. In fact, just probably take it back down, turn it into scrap, build a new one. Probably, if I ever actually use it, uh, probably the way it will be used. Rip all this nonsense out. I keep jamming my head in here. All right. So now, what does that leave us for? We have all that stuff. You know, while we're here, let's get some shields. Shields ready. Shields and recharger. Let's do them in chunks of five. There we go. Oh no, I don't have symmetry mo mode on. I know, I don't care. Let's see. Actually, let's let's run our this way because so I want to shift the circle or the bubble, if you will, to the front. Can I shift it more frontward, frontwardly? It's making it smaller, and you know what? Uh, we're gonna have to do this six tall. Six tall. Uh, let's grab some symmetry mode this time. And I don't want symmetry mode. Six tall, right here. That's 39. That's another 39. That's what? Uh... 80, because I added two. There we go. And how much juice is that taking to run this? Uh, we'll have to see structure. I didn't want structure. When it ship reactor, consumers, uh, shields is taking 120,000. Eh, we're using 6%. That's not bad. Now let's run these guys about the same. Two, and then run it. 39. Do you have to have them built the same? No. Did I? Yes. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What are we actually talking about in shields? I, I don't really calculate it. Recharge of 12,000, capacity of 600,000. That's probably fine. No, that's not a lot, but no, this is not a warship. This is a jump in, drop off a bunch of stuff, leave ship. So, probably not going to have a lot of thrust, now that I think of it. Probably no more thrust, well, probably a little more thrust than this. But not much more. Might go a little heavier on the shields, might not. Not entirely uh, sold on that idea yet. Probably want some good armor, uh, at least on the front. Maybe have like an armored nose piece or something. So it drops in, unloads the starships, 
jumps up is sort of the, the goal or the idea. So I can jump, drop some starships off, maybe to add to a fleet, and then leave. Or carry this in a fleet for carrying these starships. Maybe even keep this in a fleet. I don't know. But this is not a combat vessel. I don't plan on putting any weapons on it either. I might add a couple AMS turrets, but that will be the extent of its armament. A long time since I built a ship without any without any uh, guns on it. Definitely going to need a bunch of uh, FDL chambers. Let's throw one down and see what we're looking at. Uh, mobility, logistics, some logistics. Oh yeah, it's definitely going to need a mining bonus. But no, it's not going to need a mining bonus. That was a joke. I want speed. Actually, how much for FTL? That is not FTL. That's FTL. The Chrome logo. So that's going to be 6. That's 24. Plus 12. So that's like 48. Minus six. So that's almost 50. So for power efficiency distance, probably want to throw in an auto charge at 60. Do I really need jump charges and charge speeds? That'd be 60 roughly. Um, actually, shouldn't be counting that 6%. I should be subtracting six from all of them, but you know what? 60, that'll be 75. That would take us above 100 to have multiple charges. So we could do a mul one multi-charge, then a fully loaded jump drive. Actually, that sounds good to do a fully loaded jump drive. So uh, next time we see this vessel, we will be uh, trying out a fully loaded jump drive. Hmm. And... Probably some RP stuff, like bedrooms for the pilots and that type of nonsense. Anywho, I think, I think we're done today. Didn't do an awful lot, but we did important things. We tested to make sure carriers will... Or it is viable to use it as a fleet carrier. It's going to be a pain in the backside to set up if I choose to do that. I probably won't. Talked about the logic between that. We shielded it up. And discuss, well, we didn't discuss. I talked about wanting it to jump drive. So we're discussing its role in the uh, in the fleet than actually working on it today. And definitely not going to need to uh, smooth out the logic here and, you know, the whole StarMade thing. Anywho, I have been JW608. This has been StarMade. Now, DQ Cats, later.